Good evening YouTube. We are about to make our way to what is going to be one of the best, biggest parties on the island, the proper Ibiza vibes. We're going to Clockwork Orange. It's at S Paradise. It's the after party for Cova Santa today. I'm here by the boats if you recognize them. I am on my own because I can't get anyone reliable to come with me. So let's go to S Paradise and enjoy this vlog because it's going to be a good one. Honestly, can't even emphasize how good this event is. Clockwork Orange. I've just bumped into another guy. Honestly, I've been walking through the crowd. Nick, the amount of people have stopped me and said they watched the videos, but this guy, you watched them, didn't you? Yeah. I know the guy Dwayne from the from the YouTube videos. I've seen him, I've come and said hello. <laughs> he's definitely got a lot of info going on. And it is absolutely, absolute pleasure to meet the guy. I've seen him from all the videos, and I've then walked through the bit here, and here he is, the man. The man, the legend. The man, the legend. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Did you, you watch him during COVID? 100%. All during COVID, we, all, we always watch the videos, get a vibe of what's going on in Ibiza, because we weren't coming. Clearly, we weren't coming. On a scale of one to 10, how fucking good is tonight? Can I say 11? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. No, it's not the night after. I'm not still in the club, although it very nearly was still in the club. I think I was one of the last ones to go out. As you see from the scenes, that was incredible. I'm back in S Paradise, catching up with Pepe, because we're gonna have a word, but look at the, the testing out the water here now. So, in the last video, you all commented on it and it was really really good to read all your comments so what i want you to do keep positive and reply to this video now all your memories of s paradise when was the first time you came here um and just tell me all the stories um your first ever memories i know this is the first club i ever walked into in ibiza in 2008 and it blew my mind it was club land then it was kelly lorena scooter i think and flip and fill i was young i was only 17 i turned 18 the next day but yeah, from that day, I knew that was the place to be. That's what made me come to Ibiza, effectively. And yeah, it's just always incredible to be here. It's like one of the few clubs that just makes you go, wow. Anyway, we're gonna go over and have a quick chat with Pepe, see how he feels about how clockwork went, and just maybe ask him a little bit about the club and what he's up to. So guys, I'm here with the man himself, Pepe from S Parties. Pepe, what was clockwork like the other night? Yeah. Incredible. Fantastic. Did it bring back some good memories from the old days? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So many memories and so many years. Yeah? <laughs> and how many years have... I think I spoke about this in the last video that we done um, two years ago or pre-COVID. How many years have you had as Oh, 48. 48. And do, yeah. you ever, do you ever get tired of it? No, I no? am not. I'm a Zagbili. It's the same than the say that the first day. Yeah. Because every day is different. Different. And what so, sort of like what drives you up in the morning to come back in here every day? Do you, well, uh, you love? illusion, illusion to do things and to change things and new things, and every day is a new life. 
Yeah. And how do you feel this summer is compared to other summers? Is it good well, for you? Or? This summer is come si come sa. Yeah? Uh, last summer in 22 it was more people uh, on the Ibiza. I think for everybody it's the same. Oh, perhaps it's only for me. <laughs> no, but uh, everybody I speak, they say the same. Yeah, I think I think you're, I agree with you on that. There's certain venues, there's certain certain nights that are very busy, and then other nights. Are, yeah, exactly. Are, are exactly, struggling. Exactly. And there's, a, there's obviously a massive problem. But anyway, at the end, if we can pay the bills, yeah, and we can eat every day, fantastic. And when are we going to go to Camp Pujol? This guy exactly. took me to the best, the best fish restaurant. Well, maybe we shouldn't tell him about it. Well, I think <laughs> Ambujol is the best restaurant in all the Mediterranean. But he don't do, they don't do publicity because they don't like They don't it. need it. They, they don't, don't need, need it. it. It's the one publicity of the best. is to go there and to eat. Yeah. It's fantastic. Well, Beautiful. thanks for taking the time just for a few minutes. I, I just, I said it in the video, like, this is the first club that I ever came into. Mm -hmm. I was uh, 17 years old. Uh -huh. um, I think I just turned 18 the day before. Uh -huh. I was 18. And I remember walking up these steps and the lights were going and the place was full. It was back when you had a uh, club land and uh, it blew my mind. And honestly, it's probably one of the reasons that I, I kind of decided to move to Ibiza. I was like, this is what I want. I was meeting new people. I think I kissed two girls. You know? Well, <laughs> Ibiza have this magic thing. I came here for a weekend too. Yeah. And then I saw what's happened here at that time was 73. I came for the opening of Pacha. Okay. And then I see so many nice girls. <laughs> and the other people so uh, all, I mean, all dressing. I mean, Ibitenko people, I mean, yeah. classic people. Uh, and this melange, this difference, a culture, this different kind of, of, of life of one of the other is really fantastic. Before it was much more than now, of course. But uh, I fell down in love for, 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 for Ibiza. Where, where, where did you come from? You came from the mainland? From Barcelona. Barcelona. Well, really, I was living in Lloret de Mar, Costa Brava. Okay. I mean, is And how do you even become uh, owner of a nightclub? Well, I am, you know, I, I, I did discotheques okay. for, for other people. I mean, sound, illumination, decoration, and together with some very important men who make some things, very important things here in Ibiza too. Uh, uh, Luis Güell, okay. is, uh, he was in our group. We made a lot of things in, in Girona, I mean, discotheques, boutiques, uh, chemists, uh, everything. Yeah, yeah. And I take him and tell him, come there, we must do a new paradise in Ibiza. Why well, you are crazy, why you mean? Well, one day we come here and we start here. Uh, in June of 75, and it was finished, we opened at 3 of August of 75. Okay. Record Mundial. And that, back then there was because no, there was no roof. People when came here, what's happened here? What is this? It's so different. Uh, it's so different than, than now too. Uh. Yeah. It was different. I've seen pictures that you didn't have a roof. When did the roof? Well, the roof it was in 89. Yeah. And you're the only club with an attractable roof. Obviously privileged too, but it's no more. Yeah. 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 Um, and what are your thoughts on the whole thing of privilege? Well, I think uh, I think it fills down everything. Yeah, I think uh, somebody I don't want to say names, but do something very bad for the island and for the for for everybody, because this thing we call beach clubs. Yeah, it changes all the system. Yeah, it I has. mean restaurants, uh, chiringuitos on the beach. Uh, the kind of life of the tourists change. Yeah, yeah, I because see that. I see. That. Before, before people go to sleep at four, five in the morning, in the night, or in the morning, and they wake up at ten. They go to the beach. They eat 
on the beach or some restaurant. Yeah. Later on, they promenade and they buy things on the boutiques. And then in the light time, they come to, for the nightclubs. Yeah. I think and if you go back 10 years ago, there was no real daytime of venues. Um, so the only thing you could really do in the daytime was go for food or to the beach or pool party. Now you have all these venues. I think people are... It's not. It's not my place it's to say, but they spend a lot of money in these venues, and then they can't afford exactly, to go exactly, to the nightclub. Exactly, so exactly. there is a difference. And, they, and don't forget one thing: I, uh, the island have a very, a very special corners mm. where you can learn many things. As you can see, how beautiful it was, or is Ibiza really? Yeah. Not only clubs, clubs, clubs. Okay, I have a club, but it's very important that everybody in the island uh, takes his part from this thing in Maravilloso, que is el turismo, yeah. the tourist. Uh, now it's club, 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 day and night, day and night. I'm very sorry. People will think we are stupid. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Well, thanks for taking the time to do the video. Uh, I had a lot of fun the other night. Um, too many beers towards the end, but... <laughs> no, no pasa nada. <laughs> Thank okay. you. I kept, you kept giving me beer, I was just like, oh no. <laughs> but I think I was one of the last people to leave. And okay. I, had, I had the best night of the summer okay. between here and Cafe Del Mar for okay. clockwork. And uh, I'm sure we'll probably see anyway, each Anyway, we, we make Cafe Del Mar. Yeah. When I come to Ibiza in 75, well, Cafe Del Mar, it was in 77. Oh, okay. Luis Wayne, me, we make Cafe Del Mar. Wow, it's beautiful. Oh, that makes sense. It yeah. looks very yeah, similar. It's very similar. Ah, okay. Yeah, I because, didn't know that. I, yeah. thought, I think maybe I did, but I, I, yeah, I, I yeah, forgot. Yeah. We make another one, the name Sumum. Oh, yeah, of course, Sumum. In, in the left side of the, the bay. But I don't know why, but it never goes up. It's difficult, right? Difficult. Yeah. It's a very, 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 very special place. Okay. Right, we'll finish with that. Guys, oh, if you're right. coming over to Ibiza, make sure to pop in and see exactly. that exactly. Come to me. Yeah. The water party's going on behind us. Well, the water's going on. The water's going. <laughs> dale al agua, dale. It's dale, okay. Dale a tope. It's finished.